What's up, Internet? It's Rod here from TechGuysmartBuy.com, and we're here with the Moto X Pure Edition. Previously, their flagship hasn't been all that great. It's fallen short in cameras and battery life, and now we are with third generation to see how well or how much better it performs. So, we spent about almost two weeks with it, and we're going to tell you all about it. Pure Edition is a bit bigger than previous models, but not incredibly massive. Uh, the look resembles that of the 2015 Moto G. It has a micro SD slot for expandable storage, but no removable battery. Mine was assembled via Moto Maker. I went with the wood grain back and white front with silver accents. As most devices these days are uh, super lightweight, this has a little bit of heft. And in case you're wondering how big is it compared to the Nexus 6, nothing is bigger than the Nexus 6. You can still put a pure edition inside of the Nexus 6. Now moving on to the display, you can say goodbye to AMOLED and hello to LCD. So it's a bigger 5.7 inch QHD display. You have a new to panel. It still offers good images and good colors, but you do lose the vibrance and pop that you may be used to with AMOLED. It's still a great screen. It's still visible in sunlight with great clarity and viewing angles. Inside is a 1.8 hex core Snapdragon 808 CPU, 3 gigs of RAM. Not a big fan of the hex core. Um, it did get a little bit of lag. I think an extra gig of RAM would have helped out a lot, but it's still good enough to hold you down for most of your things. On the battery side of things, there's a 3000 milliamp battery, and you think going from OLED to LCD would make a difference on the battery, it really didn't. Um, on a good day's use, I'm getting 12 to 15 hours, and quick charging can use 0 to 100% in an hour, so that's pretty good. Now, we already talked about the camera in our camera test, but just for a quick recap, there's a 20 megapixel f2.0 aperture sensor with dual LED flash, um, and it works really well as long as you have great lighting. Uh, low light you can get a lot of noise and there's no OIS but you do have video stabilization for 720p slow motion, 1080p and 4k video. Since the Pure Edition is pretty much being sold on lock so you have no bloatware from no carriers. Uh, you still have the same Motorola software, Moto Display, Moto Assist and Moto Migrate and several other things. So it's pretty bare bones and you can do it and everything works pretty well as well as the software stuff from the Moto G. Want to hear what those dual front facing speakers sound like? Here you go. We'd be talking about the most tectonic shift in the status quo since... Ever. I'm begging you to manage expectations. Have I ever let you down? Every single goddamn time. <laughs> then I'm due. Your Apple stock is worth $441 million. clear vocals and good bass what more you need so we gave the pure edition an a minus this marks a change in motorola's uh, sales positions where they're not even going through the carriers you're selling it completely unlocked starting at 400 dollars with a micro sd card slot so you're getting the better of the mid-range unlocked devices as well as a great competition for those flagship devices uh, we definitely love it and we think you will too don't forget to like share subscribe and as always Thank you for watching.